Asana versus ClickUp. In this video, I'm going to compare Asana versus ClickUp for task management or project management. So I'm going to show you pricing and different features. And then finally, I'm going to give you guys my personal opinion and recommendations to which software you should use. Let's get started. All right, so let's start off with Asana. Let's go to pricing. So I want to compare the pricing of these two different project management tools so that you can get an understanding of which features you'll get with what kind of plan. All right. So for Asana, they've got a free basic plan that you can get started with. And they also have premium plans all the way up to 25 euros per month. And you can also go with the enterprise. But for that, you would have to contact their sales team. Now, if we compare these plans to ClickUp, you'll see that there's a huge difference. So on ClickUp, they have a free plan, which is free forever, that comes with 100 MBs of storage, unlimited tasks, unlimited members, and 2FA. And with their, uh, with their paid plan, it's only going to be 4 euros, so 5 USD per member per month but that also comes with unlimited everything. So I like how they keep it simple. They've got a free plan. They've got a free plan and unlimited plan. And with this one, you've got a few different ones. But if we take a look at the free plan on Asana, you'll see that there are up to 1000 tasks per team. On the free plan on here, it's unlimited. So if you probably need more than 1000, for now, ClickUp would be better. Now you can see unlimited teams, just like on here, unlimited members. So that's pretty much the same. Unlimited projects, which is also the same kind of. So yeah, all of the other stuff is pretty similar. Once again, 100 MB per file. And on here, you also get 100 MB of storage. So yeah, all of this is pretty similar in terms of the free plan, apart from the unlimited tasks versus the 1000 tasks per team. So if you need more, then you probably want to go with the free ClickUp one. If not, the two don't matter that much in terms of features for the free plan. Let's take a look at the paid plans. On Asana, we've got premium, business and enterprise. And on ClickUp, we've got the unlimited plan. So this comes with unlimited everything from all features on ClickUp. And if you take a look at Asana, you have different levels, all right? So if you decide to upgrade to a premium plan on Asana, that's still not going to give you all of the features. However, most of them will indeed be available apart from the custom fields, the advanced integrations with Salesforce, Adobe Creative Cloud. So this is actually really powerful. So if you in, if you're in need of that, then this plan is probably better. So you can see the differences that on here, they've got five USD per member. So it really depends on how many team members you've got to like how much money this is going to add up. But there's a huge difference between the two because on Asana, it's 11 euros per user per month. And for the business plan, it's even 25 euros. So in pricing, ClickUp is definitely better, but it has to match with the features on these two softwares. So what I'm going to do right now is show you the features inside. Let's start off by taking a look inside ClickUp. So this is what ClickUp looks like. And you'll notice that it's very similar to Monday and also to Asana itself. So on the left side, you've got your menu bar where you can see your homepage, your notifications, and you can also show more if you want to. So you can add goals. You can then also see your dashboard and your different workspaces. So right now I'm in the workspace HTD, which is for this specific channel. Now what you'll see is that on here, you'll find different tasks. So this is great for project management and task management so that you can list them here. And then next up, you can assign people to that specific task. So if you're working with a team, what you can do is add tasks for a week right here. And you can then add people that need to do that specific task on here so that they also know that they need to do that. You can then add a due date. You can add priority if it's needed. You can also add a budget for a specific project or maybe you're buying Instagram pages or whatever. You can add a specific budget and that person can then also put in right there how much money they've spent so far so that you can know how much money is remaining, how much budget. All right. So that's pretty simple. And this is how most of the project software management tools work, but it actually is very convenient, which is also why most of them 
will look something like this. So this is what ClickUp looks like. You can uh, work with a list or you can switch to a board as well or you can use this one. So this is what it looks like in terms of boards. So how you can use this is that you can add to-do lists on here in progress. So let's say I started working on the detail, the product blueprint. Let's say I started working on that. You can move it over here so that you then know that that person is working on it. If it's ready, you move it there. If it's complete, if it's done, you simply put it there and then you know that that specific task is done for the week. So yeah, this is really cool and really easy to use. You can also add tasks by clicking right here and then you can add a specific task in a specific board and then swipe it or like drag it over to one of these lists so that you know what you need to do for that specific week. You can simply do that by typing in right here, whatever you would need to do for that week. If you then click create, and type here as well of course and then click create you'll be done and you'll see that it then shows up right here i can then simply drag it over when it's done and that's how you can use ClickUp for task and project management when we're taking a look at asana you'll see that it looks pretty similar so on here on the left side you'll also have your menu bar where you can see your home but what you can see on here is your task as well which is pretty cool if you click right there you'll see what you need to do for that specific week all right, if you go back to home, you'll see that this is what the home page is like. If I click right here though, I can see that specific team board. Now, what you can do is go with a list. You can choose board. Now, this will look pretty similar to ClickUp and then you can drag it over here. And then when it's done, you can also go with timeline, calendar and dashboards, but you'll see that not all of these are available. For this one, you need to upgrade, I'm pretty sure, but you can try it for free. But you can see that this looks very similar to ClickUp, all right? Now, that's also why it's very hard to recommend which one is better. It really depends on your personal preference in terms of the layout and also what you need it for. You'll see that this is pretty much the same, right? You can add people to that specific task, just like on ClickUp. The list and the boards are the same. You can add priorities, due dates, all of it. So most of it is exactly the same. It's a different layout, but still it's pretty similar. So what I can say guys is that make sure that you simply compare the features and the layouts that I've shown you in the video. And you mainly want to focus on the pricing and what kind of plan you need in order to make your decision. If you're not going to pay, honestly, I would go with ClickUp and that would pretty much give you all of their features. But yeah, that's my opinion. I hope this video still helps you out. If it did, then make sure you go ahead and leave a like, and then I'll see you next time.